Well, years ago, when we lived in Watford in the 80s, um, we didn't have that much money before we moved down to London anyway, uh, we ended up going to uh, a co-op department store and they were selling these players uh, called CED players and they, uh, they had um, films on these discs and the discs were in a big square caddy about the size of an LP but they weighed more than an LP and you put them in the CD in the CD player and up came the film actually it wasn't bad quality but sometimes the picture would sort of shake a little bit like that or it move like that uh, the deal was I don't think they caught on you see the deal was there were about uh, I think 45 pounds and you got 20 discs complimentary discs to go with it and they were sealed but you couldn't choose you could not choose you did not know and uh, I had to go back because I operated like a stylus system not not a laser uh, so I thought I'd better buy a, a, one of these spare styluses so I went back in you could buy it from the store and this man came in and they were quite waiting he was carrying all these CED discs and uh, he'd got uh, 20 copies of the Jane Fonda workout. And he didn't look the sort of gentleman that would uh, be likely to be taking up a Jane Fonda workout. Anyway, they changed them for him. But you couldn't, you couldn't sort of pick. You got what you got. But I think in his case, they made a, a difference. Anyway, later on, we bought a, um, we bought a video recorder. And... Uh, <laughs> In our ignorance, we thought with the the videos that you, if you had a film or whatever, you had to turn the turn the video over like you did it with the CD, CED player uh, to play the other side. If it was a long film, uh, we soon found that you could not do that. <laughs> you did not need to do it. Anyway, I was rooting about and I found that we've still got some old videos. Uh, some that belong to uh, to our son and of course he's gone on to different things he was up and still is a, a very big film buff anyway so he's all up on all these things and uh, he, I think he thought he got rid of these videos and some of them I, I've, I've found that we've still got anyway this one brings back memories not particularly pleasant memories I hasten to add and it's the Exorcist. It's uh, a William Peter Blatty. William Peter Blatty wrote the book, and uh, the film was developed from that, starring um, Linda Blair, Max von Sydow. You remember Linda Blair uh, spinning around and all that nasty stuff coming out. Uh, but it was a it, it was a very controversial film at the time. So um, when it first came out, I didn't even know he'd got this video. Um, when it first came out, um, I went to the cinema with a friend of mine that I'd worked with a couple of years before. And there were people outside protesting with placards and whatnot, you know, that, that sort of, you know, they had a religious opinion on it and it shouldn't be shown and whatnot. Anyway, we went, we went inside and uh, the place was packed out. I sat down and uh, I can't remember the chap who went with me now. It was so long ago it escaped me. And uh, at the end the, there was a, a priest and he was sat down. I was amazed because I could see his white dog collar. And I thought, well, what's he got round his neck? And what he got round his neck was one of those uh, things for a harmonica if you're playing the guitar. And oh, I can't be playing harmonica in the cinema. They won't allow that. And what it had got, it got is it got a torch strapped to it, and then underneath he was he got the torch on during the film. He was making notes about the film. It was bizarre. He was on the end seats, and nobody stopped him. Anyway, I wonder if it was the Usherette's torch. Um, so he was making notes about this, and then there's this elderly lady behind me that kept tapping me on the back saying there's a good bit coming up there's a good bit you want to watch this so after it happened about three times and you know I'd, I'd been warned about the head spinning and you know some of the other nasty things that happened in it um I 
please, you, you, you're spoiling the picture for me. So I don't think I've seen this again since, and I certainly, I certainly haven't seen it on video or DVD. Uh, it was an X when it came out in this country on video uh, and 18, which is pretty much the same thing. It says on the back there, certain, uh, certain adaptations have been made. I thought I, I cuts um, because I know the British Board of Film Censors, so I'm told, uh, insisted on certain cuts anyway. But uh, but this the thing I'm telling you about on there that was so that it could fit on a TV screen. So it's probably 4.3 or something like that on t TV screen. We've still got a video recorder knocking about, but I don't know if I've still got the leads. And I haven't used it for many a year. Anyway, uh, hope you've enjoyed seeing that. And uh, if you have, click a like. And uh, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. <laughs> That would be a big help to me and it will encourage me to drag out more stuff that should have probably been turfed out years ago. Thanks for your time. Bye now.